Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Friday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so glad you are joining me. Usually I am live on Thursday, but last night we were visiting my daughter in college and she had a jazz performance and we enjoyed that very much. We had a little overnight away and I was hoping to film a video for you ahead of time and it just didn't happen. So I'm um, so sorry I missed you guys last night, but I'm so glad that you are here tonight because look, I've got some brand new stuff to play with and I've been working on projects this evening. I have three cards to share with you and I think they've come together pretty well. I'm really excited. We are using some of the brand new online exclusives. We just had a brand new release of product on Tuesday, November 7th. Stampin' Up! is alternating between catalog releases and online releases and so every other month we've got brand new product and so this month we've got some new online exclusives now if you've been following my channel i've been sharing some of the things already including the meandering meadow um, suite with the beautiful designer paper and the fluffiest friends oh my gosh we had so much fun playing with that one last sunday so if you haven't seen those make sure to check out those extra videos but today i have some of the brand new stuff that just came out on tuesday to share with you and we are going to break them open and play with them. Um, so first of all, one of the stamp sets we have here is called Feathered Friend. I'm sorry, Feathered Flight. I'm actually not going to be using this one tonight. Um, I bought it so that I could show you, but honestly, I think I might give it away because it is not my, um, not necessarily my cup of tea. I don't know. What do you guys think about this one? Feathered Flight. Um, I love the outdoor theme to it and the beautiful sort of distinctive stamp images. I think these would be great for some masculine cards. Um, a new day, new adventure, thinking of you, and I'm so glad you're in my life. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know. Feathered Flight. Maybe I'll hang on to it and show you some cards with it. Uh, but right now, I think it's going to be um, in my perhaps team giveaway pile. <laughs> Another brand new one, which I absolutely love, is called Softly Said. And these are pretty big. The cover image is only 85%. And um, so here's a little bit bigger of an idea. Um, in fact, the thank you stamp won't fit on a regular block without going over the edges. Um, and so you're going to need a bigger block for that, um, which I absolutely love. I have been wanting some really big greetings and um, I think these really are fantastic. So we've got you are loved. Thank you. Thinking of you. Celebrate and just because. And I was hoping to have some details here to share with you about my 12 days of Christmas um, gift box coming up and I didn't quite get it finalized. So I will be posting um, lots of information soon. We're going to have a couple different um, options this year with a six day or a 12 day um, celebration countdown. But this is on my list at this point um, as part of the 12 days of Christmas, I think. I usually don't include stamp sets, but I love this one so much. I feel like I just have to. So if you're thinking about participating in 12 days of Christmas, I just want to warn you to hold off maybe unsoftly said. Um, I will be announcing those details in the next few days so I will I will let you know as soon as possible we're gonna use this one on two different cards tonight because that's just how much I love it another brand new stamp set that we didn't get a sneak peek of is this one it's called of art and texture and this one's got some really fantastic background kind of images that you can use if you have been with Stampin' Up! for a while we had a stamp set called gorgeous grunge for a while that had some similar sort of texture background stamps and so I think this is going to be a really fun one to just kind of fill in some of the space and do some fun collages. So this is another new one. This one is photopolymer. And this is also a little bit bigger than it looks on the cover. It's 85% on the cover. So here is the actual size of how those stamp. Um, such a fun one. Um, and this is always one I feel like, oh, I... I think this is really cool and then I get stuck and I don't know how to use it, but we are going to use this for a card tonight and I am really excited with the way it turned out. Another brand new thing we have is the Simply Sparkling Bundle and um, I have to take a quick poll. You guys have to let me know 
I can see your comments tonight. I need to know if you call it soda or if you call it pop, <laughs> because we're a little we're a little torn in my um in my family with my parents. I mean, parents and my siblings all call it pop, and I don't know how I called it soda, but I call it soda. So maybe it's a regional thing. Well, it definitely is a regional thing, and maybe you don't even call it pop. Maybe you call it coke or something else um so let me know but i don't know if this this is definitely also a regional thing because they have it in utah but we don't have it here in illinois they have like the soda is really big over there like um I don't even know what they call them. So delicious, I think, is a name of one of the soda shops. And they do like specialty sodas with different flavors and combinations. And so when I was there in um, Salt Lake City for the million sales retreat, asterisk, you know, not that many people achieve that. Um, and they had a special soda bar for us. So it was like um, a base soda and then they had different flavors to put in it. And oh my gosh, it was so good. So that's a really big thing. Um, it seems like a very regional thing in Utah. Maybe you let me know if that's something that is big where you are. Um, but I kind of wish it was here in Illinois because it, it's really, it's really kind of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think this is kind of a love it or leave it stamp set. I'm not going to say hate it, but it's a love it or leave it stamp set because if you don't drink soda or if that's not a big thing where you are, then I don't know what you would necessarily use the, the bundle for, but I thought it was kind of fun and I, I love the little fruits. So even if you're just kind of doing something for somebody sweet, you know, a little summery kind of card, I think this is fun. So this one's called Simply Sparkling and it does have dyes that coordinate. Um, I was curious how this one die cut and so I die cut it from some holographic paper and it does have some additional little dots and they're kind of like all, <laughs> all over the place. So I'm going to play some more um, with this die. I'm not using it um, tonight but I just wanted to show you how that die cuts and it's really, um, really thin, really detailed. For each fruit piece, the outline is the same as the stamp, but then there's also a detailed image, um, which I think that you can layer on top of it, and that's going to be um, a lot of fun too. So I am jumping in and playing with this one. We're going to make a card with Simply Sparkling tonight. And then um, these are repeats. These are something that we already saw, not repeats, but they're newly released to everybody. We have the Meandering Meadow Designer Paper, six by six paper. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. And the beautiful Pecan Pie. I think it's more like crumb cake, honestly, um, which I still haven't used yet. Um, it just seems too um, bland for this gorgeous paper. I don't know. So I'm going to have to come up with some um something to use this for the other thing and i didn't bring it out um is the the um dragonflies and birds um those are temporarily unavailable and they're supposed to be back in stock november 27th so if you're waiting for that i would say just go ahead and buy the other things that you like like the designer paper or the garden meadow bundle don't wait for the suite because something else might be sold out so you can always get that when it comes back in stock um but I would, like I said, I would go ahead and order. And so I was telling you about 12 Days of Christmas. I think that I'm going to include the Meandering Meadow designer paper in the um, 12 Days of Christmas as well. So if you're thinking about 12 Days of Christmas, just a heads up. Hold off until I get those details finalized and I will let you know as soon as possible in the next couple days. Um, I am thinking about including both of these um in in there and the rest is going to be surprises i'm not telling you anything else <laughs> um okay so I don't have the details yet on 12 Days of Christmas, but it's coming soon and I will let you know. But I do have some big news to share. Stampin' Up! just announced the seasonal sale. This is kind of like their Black Friday um, Thanksgiving sale. And this is coming up next week, November 14th and 16th, or through the 16th. That is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday next week. And so this is their Black Friday sale for Stampin' Up. So this is kind of fun. It's a save up to 20% on ribbons, trims, inks, and paper from the annual catalog. And this is gonna include markers like Stampin' Blends, ink pads, ink refills, paper, cardstock, specialty papers. Um, I'm trying to remember the breakdown. I think it's 10% on ribbon and trim. Oh, I'm gonna mess it up. I think it's 10% on ribbon and tw trim. 15% on ink and 20% on cardstock. I've got to check now. 
um, because I don't want to tell you wrong and get in trouble. <laughs> um, let me see here. I'm looking it up. Okay, so 10% on ribbon and trim, 15% on ink, and 20% on paper and cardstock. Yeah, that's an amazing special. Um, and so that is, thank you, Tony. <laughs> um, that is for three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, next week. Um, so make out your list, get ready, and you can um, shop online at juliedavison.com slash shop. Use that hostess code for UF. WB3YV to get my November project kit. October kits are going in the mail on Monday. I've almost got them ready to go. Oh, Sharon, what a great question. I would love to know, is anyone watching tonight a veteran? Um, a ha a, an early happy Veterans Day and thank you so much um, for your service, Sharon and all of our other veterans. And Janet, Janet's watching tonight, a Navy veteran. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for your service. I have to honor my um, father as well. He served in the Navy and my nephew is currently serving um, in the Navy. And that, that is just um, so amazing. So thank you so much for all of your service. Um, yes, I'm, I'm looking for, for more comments. Andrea, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea, for your service as well. Um, Marilyn says, is that just DSP? or regular cardstock as well. My understanding is that it is regular cardstock, designer paper, and specialty papers that are part of the seasonal sale. Um, and Kathy, thank you so much. And thank your husband for his service in the Army. Um, oh my goodness. It's so fun to see all your comments coming through. Happy Veterans Day to all of you. Um, and thanks for tuning in tonight. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to make some cards. Let's start with our So Delicious. Um, simply sparkling is what it's called. And I, I said so delicious because I've got some pieces ready and I pre-did the sentiment, you're so delightful. <laughs> I just love a good pun. Uh, they got both bases covered here, soda and pop. Um, and so pop you could use for like a Father's Day card or something fun like that. That could be cool. All right. I've got some specialty paper here and this one should be included in the sale. This is the um, Gold Celebrations 12 by 12 paper. It's gold on one side and silver on the other side. There are three different, um, three different acetate, printed acetate sheets. One of them has um, sort of this confetti and then um, there is one that has a different kind of confetti. <laughs> uh, I guess this is like streamers, streamers, confetti, and polka dots. And so there's gold on one side, all of them are silver on the other side. And so I cut a piece to use for our card because I thought it would complement um, the holographic paper that I used to die cut um, for the top of the can and the little tab. So these three pieces are all part of one die and I die cut them from the holographic paper. Um, and so I, I want to use it. I'm, I'm a little worried this is too much. I'm actually going to take my scissors and it already is sort of cut and I'm just going to finish that cut and cut it all the way here there and just trim that off. So we just have the, um, the outer edge and we're going to use our stamp. So this is going to make more sense after we stamp. <laughs> I'm going to stamp in black. This is the memento Matte black ink pad. And I prefer the memento for, um, photopolymer stamps because it is easier to clean off. The other black we have is the stays on black and that one's really good for watercoloring. And honestly, that's the only thing I use it for. Um, if I'm stamping with a um, rubber stamp and watercoloring, I'll use my stays on ink, but mostly I use the memento. Um, I do, I, if you want a really crisp black, I would recommend doing like a black embossing powder um, to get a really nice crisp black image because that is the one thing that the memento pad sometimes isn't a really dark, deep black. Um, so just a heads up about that. Okay, we're going to do some more stamping. I'm using mm, the pumpkin pie 
um, for this image. And I don't know if this is, I don't know what it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's kind of like a um, bubble color. Um, I don't know. Um, I am trying to figure out. Okay, I think they fit together kind of like this. So I'm kind of doing it at an angle. And I've got the small one on top, and then I'm gonna flip it over so the small one's on the bottom, and then they kind of line up to fill in that space. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> I'm just kind of making things up as I go. I'm really looking forward to seeing um, more, <laughs> more samples and more ideas uh, with this fun Simply Sparkling set. I'm gonna add some bubbles here um, with the the black again and then I have um I don't know I don't know about these I stamped the orange and I die cut them out and um I feel like it's a little bit busy but I wanted to add something else um I don't know what do you think about that is it is it just like too is it too weird am I covering up too much so I don't drink a lot of soda, um, and, and maybe orange soda is not necessarily my favorite, um, but I wanted to do something with the oranges because um, we are making some colorful cards tonight. One of the cards we're gonna make is rainbow, and so I love it when my cards match. So I was trying to come up with some um, complimentary colors that were bright and fun to use on the other cards. So that's how I landed on oranges for our soda. Maybe use them off to the side. One orange, yeah. I, I think two is too overwhelming. I'm using some liquid glue um, and adding these die cut pieces to sort of add that metallic touch to the card. I, I struggled with, um, I guess I gotta put that one on first. Is this the right way? <laughs> I I removed the um, the middle part and now I'm not sure which way that goes. I think it goes this way. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, oh, the white can. I wasn't sure about the white can. You can die cut it. I wanted to do orange soda. Maybe I just needed to have an orange, an orange can. Well, I don't know. Again, it's my first card <laughs> with this bundle. The other thing I brought out was some gold and silver um, ribbon. This is another online exclusive that came out in March. And it's a combination of the gold and silver together. And I don't know, I just thought it would be fun maybe to add like a little bit of ribbon behind the sentiment. And, um, and bring in some of that, um, and bring in some of the silver again. It is weird. I think that like the orange would be popping off of the can, but, um, I don't know. I think we can think outside the box. <laughs> Um, so I, I think I do like this little touch of, um, silver. So I'm going to do our little back and forth figure eight and add it to the back with some tear and tape. It's looking very, um, <laughs> sort of, um, all the metallic it's kind of reminding me of maybe it's because the holograph paper is <laughs> from the the uh, stargazing suite but it di is definitely giving me some like space vibes <laughs> um, I think our ribbon needs to be smaller on this little tag um but oh I like that idea Janice using both of the um both of the um, both of the orange slices like at the bottom of the can um, as sort of like what do you guys think about that so it's it's just sort of representative uh, representative of the orange soda but not like actually part of the can design 
maybe a way to incorporate it. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. We'll go with that. It's going to be a little bit of a collab tonight, I think. Uh, some of these images, I'm looking at the set, and I'm trying to think, like, how would you use that? Like, this one is clearly liquid, right? Splashing. But, like, where where would you have that in relation to the can? And what is this? Is that, like, a drop? Would that be coming off the can? I don't know. Like I said, I'm really anxious to see how Stampin' Up! uses some of these things. Usually when we have a catalog, we have samples like in the catalog to see how Stampin' Up! is using the products. And so right now I'm, I haven't seen a lot of ideas with this yet. So um, kind of scratching my head a little bit. Why is this giving me so much trouble? Oh, do I just feel like you have too many fingers or not enough <laughs> or not enough fingers? Okay, well, we're going to go with it. <laughs> it's a little, a little lopsided. I want to do this at an angle and I'm going to add it across the can like this. So delightful. Is that straight? And then these are going to go on some Stampin' Dimensionals too, because why not give it some dimension? All right, we are going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to add the large tag, which I forgot to say is from the Countryside Corner dies. And I have a whole bunch cut from, um, I don't remember why, I just have a whole bunch cut. Maybe I was going to use them for a swap. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh that was not planned. Um, I was going to use them for a swap or something, and then I never did. So I have a whole, whole bunch cut. Okay, I just did not mean to set that down. And that is unfortunate because these really stick hard so okay we're gonna have to start over with the Stampin' Dimensionals and bring in our um adhesive eraser a little elbow grease to get that um oh that is really unfortunate the way that's smearing well, <laughs> that's ugly. Okay, well, we're going to take care of that later. And for right now, we're just going to start with a new piece. I am cutting it to four inches by five and a quarter. And I will be a lot more careful <laughs> um, with my stamp dimensionals this time. Okay. What a mess. Okay, let's try again. One, two, three, four, five. This time I'm going to be more intentional <laughs> and I want to center this on the acetates because you can see adhesive through the acetates. I am going to then add adhesive underneath the acetate to add this to my card. Now we do have some pieces that come up, but these little polka dots are pretty big. And so I think we can strategically add a glue dot, which in hindsight would be easier before you put it down. <laughs> um, but I think it'll still work to kind of add one to each corner behind the dots that are already there. Oh, 
Okay. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Where did that one come from? Oh my goodness. Hey, there it is. I kind of love it. What do you think? We use this simply sparkling to make a so delightful card <laughs> using this new online exclusive. Like I said, I think it's a love it or leave it. You can let me know. Leave a comment. Is this a bundle you're interested in seeing more of or are you just a pass on this one? I think it has some potential with the fruit. Um, and so I'm definitely going to play some more. Uh, yeah, it is kind of whimsical and fun. I'm so glad that you guys like it. Um, <laughs> well, even if it's not your type, maybe you're inspired to use this fun acetate window in a different way by flipping it over or um, using some different focal images um, before. Let's keep moving on. We're going to use that pumpkin pie again with this other collection of colors. Yeah, we're going to do a rainbow card next. I have a niece who has a birthday coming up this weekend. And uh, here it is over here. Um, she's got a birthday coming up and I need to make her a card. And so this um, this stamp set of art and texture kind of reminded me of some cards that my sister Amy has made and this card is for her daughter. So we are going to make a rainbow card using the texture stamp and um, we're going to stamp it in one each of the six colors of the rainbow. So I have picked out some of the brights. So I've got Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Azure Afternoon, and Gorgeous Grape. And so I'm going to start with a piece of cardstock that is three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm gonna kind of start in the middle. I want to kind of make sure I've got enough space for all of my colors. And so I'm gonna start in the middle, kind of high middle with the Daffodil Delight. And this stamp has, it's not kind of all the way across. We have like a little bit higher here and then it angles down a little bit. And so every time I stamp it, I'm going to turn and stamp in the opposite directions. And of course, we're going to need to do a little cleaning in between each stamp here. So I got my stamp and scrub ready to go. So I'm going to start by moving up. We're going to do pumpkin pie next. And again, I'm just going to rotate here. It's okay if it overlaps just a little bit. And then Poppy Parade. And rotate again. Oh, snap. Ah, oh, I got a little bit of ink right there. But we're going to have gorgeous grape down there. And so hopefully it will mask our... Um, I could flip over and start again, but <laughs> gosh, I'm going to keep going. We'll see. Hopefully, otherwise we can cover it up with an embellishment or something. Uh, rotating again so that the ones that are right next to each other are going in opposite directions. I've got Granny Apple Green. And then we're going to do Azure Afternoon. Oh, this is such a pretty blue and one that I feel like I do not use enough. My favorite color family, I think, is probably the Regals. Um, and so sometimes these bright colors, like I just don't use very often. Um, actually, Gorgeous Grape is now a Regal. It was in the brights and we had that color changeover and oh, of course it just barely didn't cover it. Uh, yeah, I think an embellishment will go perfectly to cover that up. <laughs> uh, Gorgeous Grape is now in the Regals, but the other colors that I use for our rainbow are all um, in the brights color collection. So awesome. I'll have the link or all the list of colors in case you're wanting to get your own um, ink pads during the seasonal sale. You'll be able to do that. Um, as a side note, the collections of ink pads 
um, are not available for an extra discount. So right now when you buy like the brights, for example, um, the bright colors, um, you get a 10% discount on all the ink pads at the same time. But for the sale, there is no additional discount to that set of ink, um, to that set of, um, to the whole set by color family. So your best bet is to just do the individual colors. Okay, I have a little bit of a sneak peek here and I have showed this already. Um, if you are a demonstrator and you're registered for on stage, you are able to pre-pre-order the Be My Valentine bundle. This is so cute. It's coming out in the January through April mini catalog. And tomorrow is our on stage at home event. It's a virtual event. And so demonstrators around the world are going to be able to see that brand new catalog. First, we're going to get to see demonstrations. We're going to get to make a couple projects using the Be Mine bundle that we could order early. And we're going to be able to order some brand new product. So I cannot wait for that event to start tomorrow. Well, I was looking for some hearts and and so this bee punch has two different hearts, a big one and a small one that are part of the bumblebee. And so I use those, um, I use that punch to punch some hearts for our card tonight. So uh, if you have a heart punch at home or heart dies, you might use that. Or if you don't, you'll be able to get this one in January. If you're a demonstrator and not registered for on stage, you'll be able to pre-order the Be My Valentine bundle in December when the demonstrator pre-order starts on December 5th. So I have punched some hearts and my thought was that I could do some um, sort of, I don't know how to say that, like a spray of hearts, just sort of like having the different colors sort of coordinating with the, um, coordinating with the colors um, on that are stamped. So I've got three and three, and then across the middle, we're going to have our sentiment. And we're using my new favorite stamp set called Simply so or Softly Said. Um, now, I originally was going to do You Are Loved because I thought that was just such a great message, but the stamp is so big that it would take up <laughs> most of the card and I didn't want to hide that fun rainbow so instead I'm using celebrate which is perfect because it's for her birthday and I can always put you are loved on the inside um so I'm going to use that memento black ink pad and stamp celebrate this is three quarters of an inch thick and I just purposely kind of did it long so that I could cut it where I needed to. So I'm just going to cut down and then add a little bit of an angle here. And we're going to have that go there. And I sent Amy a message when I was working on this card earlier and I asked her what Maddie's favorite color was and she said it was green. Actually mint green, but this isn't mint green. So we're going to go with it because it's the green that's in our rainbow. But I think you could use any card base here for... Um, for the card. And now I'm really wishing that I had taken our inside piece and added just like a little rainbow, like a little end from all the colors. Maybe I'll have to do that later when I'm not on the videos <laughs> so that I can add some of the rainbow color inside. I think I will do that. I'm gonna save my, my piece for the inside, but let's go ahead and glue the rest of it down. You can kind of see my plan. And I'm just gonna use some regular adhesive to add the layers. And add it here too. And then I'm going to use, I think, some Stampin' Dimensionals. Oh, oh, how is that white? What? I don't know where that came from. I pulled it from my scrap bin and it should be yellow on the other side. I think these two are gonna have to go on with some, um, probably some glue dots, which are over here. Okay. So starting back up at the top, I'm 
And then we'll take our orange one and kind of layer. And then down here at the bottom, At the top here oh that is perfect I think I'm just gonna go flat with it and let the hearts be um, let the hearts be on top perfect 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 I forgot about our little oopsie with the ink and I'm looking for my ink eraser I don't know where it went to well I brought out some um, of the adhesive backed trio sequins, which has flirty flamingo, pretty peacock and white. And I know white is boring. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, no. You can see through them, what? <laughs> I'm trying to cover up our mistake. Oh, I don't like the pink ones though. So because the white ones are so opaque, I'm just going to have to bring back my adhesive or my ink eraser later and try to get this. Um, oh my gosh, I'm going to drop something. Here it is. Let's put a little elbow grease here and see if we can get rid of it. Oh, sorry about the shaking. Essentially, the sand eraser like just sands off the cardstock fibers. And so I am just sanding it down and you know what? I think that's okay. Now you can't really see it. Oh, saved. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna come in with the, the white ones, which are sort of clear apparently. And I just wanna add, I don't know, can you even see them in there? I just kinda wanted to like add like a little sparkle. I don't know how well you can see them. I feel like they're, they just blend in way too much. Let's pick out something that is more opaque. I'm trying to make sure as I peel them off that I'm grabbing the glue dot with it. That can be tricky sometimes. If you can manage to grab it with the glue dot, you can reuse it later. And if you don't, well, then it's a lot harder. I just peeled off two glue dots, so something won't stick back later, but let's see what else we got. I'm thinking that the um, iridescent rhinestones would be a really nice sparkle. Yes, if I had the same color in rainbow embellishments, I think I would use that. Um, oh, Wink of Stella, that's a good idea, Andrea and Patsy. Um, but I still think that they would be too, like too, not opaque, not, uh, too translucent. So we're gonna, I think, I think these other embellishments are, oh my God, okay, just set that aside. <laughs> uh, I think these other ones are gonna work really nicely. They're kind of um, sparkly and fun. And looks like there's three sizes, so. Um, gonna try to use all of them there I think that's so much better you can see and it sparkles really nicely okay I did think about our whole odd number thing and so I thought about only having five colors but I didn't know which one to leave out and still have a rainbow so here is our rainbow birthday card I think Maddie's really gonna love this um, and thankfully she doesn't watch my videos, so we won't spoil a surprise. <laughs> 
we'll put some money in this card and send it off to her so she gets that for her birthday. Of course, it's late because I'm always running late. But um, I do love this softly, softly said stamp set. It is just so pretty. And so we're going to use it one more time for our last card tonight. I wanted to bring it in and use it with some of that meandering meadow designer paper. Now you probably have seen this because I shared it before and mom and I did a whole video where we shared some projects with the meandering meadow paper. I'm just going to give you a quick a quick little peek through of this gorgeous designer paper. Um, has 12 different designs and you get four each of those 12 different designs that are beautiful meadows. I love the bright colors and the beautiful scenes and I feel like you don't really need to do a whole lot to make a beautiful card with this paper. Um, but my greeting is pretty big and so I wanted to pick um, a pattern that was especially bright and colorful and so I chose this one. I also wanted to do a yellow card base um, to sort of go with our rainbow colored cards tonight and, um, and so I picked this one. On the back side of this Oops, that was supposed to be here. On the back side is this um, this beautiful blue color, which I think is either Orchid Oasis or Blueberry Bushel or a combination of both. So I'm going with the dark blue, Blueberry Bushel. I used the Painted Texture Embossing Folder, which I left out so I could show you, but it's currently hiding underneath something. Um, or it fell on the floor. Well, if you don't have that one, that's beautiful. <laughs> Here it is. Painted texture embossing folder. And I just thought it went really well with the meandering meadow. Um, so for this card, I've got the designer paper pieces that are three and three quarter inches by three and three quarters and one and a quarter by three and a quarter. Um, Nan, I did wonder about Starry Sky. The colors listed on the back of the paper, it didn't list Starry Sky. It listed um, Blueberry Bushel and Night of Navy and Orchid Oasis. But there are a lot of colors in here, and I think that so many different colors would go beautifully. I'm really on the fence about what to use for the sentiment. Um, and maybe you guys might change my mind. Oh, no, that is Starry Sky. Okay, hold on. Well, I guess we could give that option as well. I picked out Blueberry Bushel, but if you think one of these others is a better match, then let me know. And honestly, it's probably got a little bit of all the colors in it <laughs> because that's just how the designer paper is. So I don't think you can go wrong. Uh, but you guys, let's take a vote, okay? Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, Blueberry Bushel. Let me know which color to stamp the sentiment in. And, um, and I will use that color. So Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, Blueberry Bushel. I'm going to go with your votes um, and see what you think. Um, I'm, I'm going to stick with these because they're a little bit brighter. But Night of Navy is always a good choice. You can't go wrong with Night of Navy. It's a beautiful color and it's a classic. Okay, I have almost all of your votes here are for, from for Blueberry Bushel. Susan and Janice and Kathy, um, Jean and Sharon and Heather and Jennifer, both Jennifers and Sherry. Um, okay, you guys all agree. <laughs> Blueberry Bushel it is, but those are great colors. If you don't have Blueberry Bushel, I think that's what's really great about this designer paper is that you really can like kind of be flexible and, and use a color that you have and it's close enough. Um, okay, so I have a piece of four inch by five and a quarter of the white cardstock. Actually, I've got two. One's going to be for the inside and one's going to be for the front. And then for the inside, I had like the bottom of this piece because it's 12 by 12. Maybe it was this way. The bottom of it um, to go on the inside of the card. So this is just one by five and a quarter. And I just thought I would use it since I already had cut it and just kind of bring some of that color to the inside of the card. So really simple on the inside. On the outside, we are going to layer these together. And this is a really great set of measurements, and I'll have those in the video description for you as well, because they can either go this way, or they can go, oops, <laughs> this way, 
It can be vertical or it can be horizontal. You can have this be over here. You can move it around. Um, you can have this be up here, like the sky. Um, so our, our greeting is um, horizontal. And so I think that is the way we're gonna go here. And I cut the paper so that we still have a good measure of the, um, of the, the, the tree and the colors here. Um, and otherwise, if the sentiment went this way, I think I would go with a vertical card like this. Um, but we're going we're gonna to do it this way. Like I said, there's not a wrong way. Um, and so we're going to do that sentiment in Blueberry Wishel. Thank you for the reminder, Janice. If you are enjoying tonight's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It is really helpful for my channel. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on card making videos like Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie and the Great Big Card Swap. And coming up very soon, at the beginning of December, our 12 days of Christmas um, countdown. <laughs> We're going to have the gift box that goes with that. Oh my gosh, I really love the way this turned out. I think Blueberry Bushel was a, f a great choice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down to our card base. This is such a fun little layout. And I think I want to try this again, maybe even with a smaller greeting, because I know it sort of kills me to like cover up so much of this gorgeous paper. Even if it is with a gorgeous <laughs> sentiment, it still kills me a little bit. Um, oh, I'm a little bit crooked. Let's just oh, gently, gently peel it back. Oh, Okay, this time I'm going to try to be straight. That's better. And bump it right up. Perfection. All right, we're going to do the thinking of you over here. Oh my gosh, you know what? I feel like I need to add these, but I, I won't. I'm going to refrain because they are not in stock right now. Those birds and dragonflies. But you know what I will get? I will get out some of the brush brass butterflies because we do have some of those. And I, I love them. They are very similar to the birds and the dragonflies. And they are going to hold us over for now. I'm going to put this over here on the right side so it overlaps the blue. And so we still get a good deal of that gorgeousness on the side. And what a great combination, yellow and blue. So pretty. Okay, let's bust out the um, butterflies. Um, here they are. I'm sure I've got more somewhere. And if not, I'm just going to add some more to my order because I love these. Well, <laughs> that's a very pathetic package, but, but it comes with quite a few. And these are cut packages. There are large ones and there are small ones. And between these two miserable little, <laughs> miserable little um, partial packages, we are we're covered, I think, here. Um, so I've got... Um, I've got two here, like up in the tree. I don't know, maybe I'll just do the third one up there too. I was debating whether or not to have it like by the sentiment. Like I kind of like it there. I'm going to put it there. <laughs> Executive decision. Um, okay, this was card number three today. I feel like our cards were kind of fast tonight. Um... So if you're just joining us, we, we did one with the new Simply Sparkling, and then we did our rainbow card using all new online exclusives. I want to put this one 
in the middle. There we go. Um, all new online exclusives tonight. We used the Simply Sparkling stamp set. We used the Of Art and Texture stamp set. And the new Softly Said stamp set. And the new Meandering Meadow designer paper. I hope that you have been inspired. I would love to know which of these cards um, inspires you most. Are you... Or are you going to case any of them at home? Or have I sparked an idea maybe um, that you will, will duplicate? Leave a comment and let me know. You can get all of these online exclusives in my online store right now um, at juliedavison.com slash shop. Use that host code for November to get the November project kit. And um, the seasonal sale starts next week on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with discounts on ribbon, trim, inks, and paper including cardstock, Stampin' Blends. Oh my gosh, this is going to be great. I am making out my list and I'm going to be ready to go to stock up on all of my favorite cardstock colors and the Stampin' Blends that I keep saying I need to replace. Those are all going on my list. I would definitely recommend ordering early because it is very likely that certain colors of cardstock or certain colors of ink Stampin' Blends may um, sell out. They might run out of stock. Um, and so you wanna, you wanna shop early for the best selection, especially when it comes to cardstock and ink pads. Um, I think definitely on the last day, we're gonna see some of those sold out. So, um, and, and sold out temporarily, like they'll be back in stock when they replenish. Um, all right, before we go, I've got two cards to share with you that came in the mail in the last, um, the last week or two, a, a late Halloween card. This one's from Janet, um, Jill Jelinus, um, who sent this one using the pick of the patch steam set and gosh, the colors just make me happy. <laughs> I love the bright colors with the, um, Cajun craze, pumpkin pie, little garden green and some crushed curry in there. Um, I love it. You could have this be for any fall occasion or anything at all. I just love the pumpkins. Um, and then I bought this, I got this beautiful card from Julia Mazur who today dropped off some balloons for me. Julia, thank you so much for celebrating my achievements with Stampin' Up! Uh, last week. Was it last week? Yes, last week Stampin' Up! Um, announced the awards for 2023. And so I was um, so, so, um, I don't even know the right word. So happy, so delighted to be recognized in the top 30 um, in four different categories. Overall, demonstrator, personal sales, leadership, and team building. So thank you so much to everyone who contributed to those awards. And thank you, Julia, for um, helping me to celebrate. I love this. And I have been meaning to use this stamp set. So we've got to break this one out next week. This is the one that has the coordinating punch that has the little angled um, banner. So we've, we're definitely going to use um, this awesome set. Um, all right, guys. Well, that is it for me today. You know what? It's not it for me today. I almost forgot. I wanted to show you this new card kit. Okay. Well, some of you have already logged off, but for those of you who are still here, let's check this out. Stampin' Up! has a brand new card kit every single month, and this is the kit that they released in November. It just came with my online exclusives, and so I thought... I would open it up and have a closer look here. Um, sometimes I get these kits and if I don't share them with you, then I don't know, they just sit around, but they're so fun. Um, I love Stampin' Up! kits because they're all inclusive. So this kit includes a clear block for you to use with your stamps and a stamp set and then also an ink spot. So we've got the gorgeous grape ink here. The stamps say, travel it well. Life is a journey. This adventure is just beginning. Happiness is the best destination. There's also a moon and flying birds, clouds, and the dots. So many different fun things. We've got some Stampin' Dimensionals here, a little bit of linen thread and glue dots. And this card kit is really fun because it has fun fold cards. We have instructions that walk you through where to stamp all the pieces and where to put everything together. Oh my gosh, what? 
what? Okay, we just gotta like, <laughs> we gotta look at these actual cards. The envelopes are printed, so there are three different envelopes to coordinate. This makes me wanna go on vacation. Um, and here are the cards. We're just gonna make up one of each really quick tonight. I know that was not the plan, but um, we're gonna do it. We're gonna really check this out and see. So I'm gonna take out one of each one. Oh my gosh, what? Wow, wow, wow. I am gonna punch out a set. Oops, I guess, I think we only need one. Um, yeah, one rose. Um, and probably one of each here. This card kit includes materials to make three each of three different cards. And the card bases, this has a little pop out. The card bases have a window. Let's pop this one out. It has a window and then it kind of folds onto itself. So if we fold on the line here, this folds in and then we have this kind of scene and then you open it up and you've got room to write your message. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. And then the back side, the back side, you won't necessarily see. I guess if someone turns it around, they would. Oh my gosh. These definitely make me want to go on vacation. <laughs> this card kit is called The Best Destination. And I think I have a slip that talks about the... Um, here it is. The item number is 163186. Um, so let's make up these cards really quick and see. Now I already have the gorgeous grape ink pad. So I am going to use that instead of the Stampin' Spot. But if you don't have it, then these are really easy to use. You just cut them open and it's a little mini ink pad and it works perfectly for all of the stamps in the kit. Let's start with this one. Um, this one, we are going to stamp the clouds and we're going to stamp Life is a journey. And so I'm going to put one on one end of the block and the other on the other end of the block. I'm looking at the picture on the front, but if you're not sure and you can't tell from the pictures, you can open it up and it will tell you where to stamp things and which tags to use. It'll also show you how much of the twine or ribbon you need to cut. And so I will need to cut some of the twine to 11 inches. I'm going to start with the clouds and stamp them right in the center. And then stamp the rounded tag. Life, oh, I got that on my fingers. Life is a journey. Oh, this is so pretty. I close that up before I get it on my fingers. This one is going to go on with some Stampin' Dimensionals, which are included in the kit as well. So I'm going to do one, oops, one, two, three. Tell me if you are watching still. Um, do you like the Stampin' Up! kits? Do you get these for quick crafting? It's fun to make and design our own cards, but sometimes, I gotta say, sometimes I really just love having all the work done for me and just getting to sit and enjoy crafting to have cards to send to my family and friends. And especially in November right now, um... We have our 30 days of Happy Meal Challenge. Are you guys doing that? It's just a, an informal little challenge <laughs> um, where I am encouraging you to send out Happy Meal one card at a time. We're gonna spread the smiles across the miles. <laughs> and so I hope that you will join me in that 30 day Happy Meal Challenge um, this month in November. Of course, I want you to send Happy Meal all the time, um, but I am making a special effort this month to reach out and send cards to 
um, family and friends and um, team members and everyone who needs a little happy word. So I'm going to write some messages in the cards that I'm making right now and I will send these out to some people. So tomorrow is Veterans Day. We don't have any meal tomorrow, but I will send my card for tomorrow and Sunday. I'll send them out on Monday and I'll have them all ready to go. Struggling. Here we go. This is going to come on over here and I'm going to use some stamp dimensionals under this one as well. want to make sure that I don't glue the card closed. I did okay. All right, card number one, life is a journey. Oh my gosh, so fun. I love how we have this like extra little window and extra little fun. And this was really easy to put together. So let's move on to our second card. This one goes with this envelope. Oh my gosh, I love that the envelopes just match. That's so cool. All right, next up, we are going to do this one with the train. And for this one, we're going to use this train ticket stamp and the little rose. And we're going to use um, a little bit of the... Um, a little bit of the twine to make a tiny bow to go on the rose. And so I'm just gonna, oh, <laughs> whoops, let's try that again. I think I cut too much of this ribbon, but it's hard to tie a bow with a smaller piece, so. There we go. I wanna make this real small to go on our rows and trim the ends. And for this, I'm going to put it on with one of the glue dots that are in this bag. And I'm gonna stick it in the middle, peel off the paper backing I hate these glue dots. <laughs> I'm just gonna peel it off and make it into a little ball and I'll use that little ball to stick the twine onto the flower and the flower will go here. But first let's add our sentiment and I'm going to use the chamois to clean the stamps so I can use the same block that we used for the first card. So for this card, I need, let's put these back. I need the moon and I need, oh, those are stars. I wasn't sure about the dots. I'm gonna put the dots this way in the back. And then the words are happiness Oh, happiness is the best destination. So that's going to go in the corner here. Okay, so first up, the words. I know this looks weird to have stamps like <laughs> on the other side of the block, but um, the, the stamps are clear and the block is clear, so it works. I'm going to put this on the left side so I can have the flower come over here on the right. And then on our main card, I'm going to do the stars across, I'm gonna turn it, the stars across the sky. I'm gonna open it up so I can go up just a little bit. And the moon. Ugh. I had a little, oh no! <laughs> that's what you get when you share a block. I thought I was doing good. Oh no, no. Well, we're just gonna have more stars. 
<laughs> so many stars. Okay, see, it gets covered up. <laughs> We're going to add um, our, our rose on with a Stampin' Dimensional. And our tag on with two Stampin' Dimensionals at the top three because I got a cluster of three. One, two, three. And it's going to kind of hang over the window. Oh my gosh, there's the second card. Happiness is the best destination. I am loving these fun fold cards. This one has a coordinating envelope that has mountains. All right, our last card is this one, sort of an island, uh, yeah, like a beachy island. I totally see this as like um, the road to Hana or something, right? Like in Hawaii. And of course we've got our, our little our little car and this one is going to have the tag and the tag says this adventure is just beginning oh that is sweet so this is a perfect thing for someone starting a new job graduating moving out moving making a big move maybe a, a new job with a, a relocation do you know anybody that is Making a big move to a new town, a new a new city, starting a new oh yes, retirement, of course. That would be that would be perfect. Um, let's clean our stamps with our chamois. Maybe we will not try to put so many on a block this time. <laughs> For this one, we're gonna use the birds. And we're going to have a sentiment. So we won't have to try to put two on the same side. That was very ambitious of me. And I regret it. <laughs> um, all of the stamps can go right back on the little, um, the little thing when you're all done. And so... You can reuse them over and over again. After you finish the kit, you'll have um, stamps that you can use on future projects. And that's one thing I love about these kits is that these are exclusive stamp images that aren't in the catalog or available online anywhere else. So it's kind of a fun way to build your stamp collection and have easy pre-designed cards to make. It's also a really great way to introduce stamping to a friend. If you've got a friend who hasn't stamped before, and maybe your friend is a little overwhelmed with your giant collection <laughs> of paper crafting supplies, um, this could be a fun way to introduce. I think a really great thing to give as a gift as well with Christmas coming up if you're looking for ideas for your friends and family, I think a kit is definitely something fun to consider. Close that before I get ink on myself. We're going to take the dimensionals off of the car. I think this one is my favorite. I don't know, how about you guys, what do you think? Do you have a favorite one? Uh oh, I have to be careful here. I know $20 is a bargain. I think the, um, the kits collection are totally amazing, especially when you consider that you get a stamp set in it. This, how do they do this? They show this being kind of tucked underneath the car. I should put this down first and then I'll add the car on top. 
Um, yeah, all the kits are like in the $20, $25 range. And there are some kits in the kits collection that are um, less than that. There are some that don't have any stamps in it that are like $13. Um, so it's such an amazing deal and such a great thing to give as a gift. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how this is supposed to fit on here. We're just going to have to go a little higher, I think, um, with our car. And be careful not to add adhesive to... Um, careful not to add adhesive to the top of the car so it sticks over the edge. It's a, it's a bumpy road. <laughs> okay, that was our last card in the best destination card kit. We're gonna have a stamp set and an ink spot to save. And this card kit makes three each of three different cards, nine cards total. Let me know which one is your favorite. What do you think about this best destination card kit? I really love these fun folds um, with the trifold and the window. I think that's just really fun and clever. All right, well, you got some bonus cards tonight. I hope you enjoyed a little peek at this kit. And if you did and you want to see more kits in the future, just let me know and I can incorporate them into um, future videos. Well, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. If you did enjoy all of the projects that I shared in the main part of the video and this kit, I hope that you will leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future card making videos. Happy Veterans Day! Day to all of our veterans. Thank you so much for your service. We love you. I'll see you next time for Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie at noon central time this Sunday. Until then, bye!